targets, the 1999 New York Knicks faced high expectations. Having added new faces to their core of stars, the Knicks entered the season with championship dreams. But a title seemed far out of reach as they stumbled out of the gate. This kind of out of control basketball that has doomed the Knicks time and time again this year. We were much better players than this. We knew we were a much better team. You know, just a year ago, we had been in the second round, you know, the playoffs and had a chance to go to Eastern Conference Finals. And here we are just kind of going backwards. And their slide would continue as they lost one close game after another. At the buzzer, won't go. And the Knicks a bad loss tonight. To compound their troubles, the Knicks would lose two of their main weapons, Patrick Ewing and Latrell Sprewell, both sidelined by injuries. And they would hit rock bottom with a demoralizing loss to the league's worst team, the Chicago Bulls. Ahead it comes to Sprewell. Sprewell, and he threw it away. You got a calculator to add up all these New York turnovers? With their worst record in years, New York barely made the playoffs as the final seed. Going into the playoffs, we don't look at ourselves in number eight seed. We have the same thoughts about our team as we had back in training camp of being a championship type team. Awaiting them in the first round were their arch rivals, the Miami Heat, a team with a score to settle after being upset by the Knicks in the playoffs the previous year. And it was clear that the league's most heated rivalry would grow more intense than ever. It was on instantly. I mean, you knew, you knew. Uh, once we knew we were in the playoffs and we were facing Miami, I mean, there was a look in guys' eyes like, this is for real. Here comes Sprewell, all the way. Had to change the shot and still hit it. Ashburn, blocked by Ewing. In game one, the Knicks would make an immediate statement, stunning the top-seeded Heat and taking their home court advantage. Have you seen New York play better all season? Mentally, I think we, we kind of gained an, an edge after we won game one. But suddenly, they would revert to the Knicks of earlier in the season, and the timing could not have been worse. The Heat would win two of the next three games to force a fifth and deciding game in Miami. The Knicks blow a golden opportunity, and the Miami Heat even the series at two games apiece. We just got to, you know, come back, regroup. Uh, you know, it's, we, we definitely didn't want to go back to Miami, but we, we're going back. Just have to stay confident and come out to play. Let's get ready, Rumble! Let's do this. Three years of bitter playoff battles between New York and Miami had now come down to one critical game, and it loomed as the fiercest struggle of all. What a war we have here in Miami tonight. It's one of those games where you, you know, you knew right away that you left it all out on the floor, and if you had to play again, you'd like die. Blocked by Camby. Camby rejected the winner's spoon shot. Here comes Child. The lob for Camby. Oh! But late in the game, the Heat finally appeared to have turned back New York's challenge. On the morning, the jump hook rattles down. Miami goes up one. The next season and their dreams of a stirring upset would now hinge on one final shot. Miami leads New York 77-76 and 4.5 left in the game. Charlie Ward inbounding on the right sideline. Houston pops out up top, down the lane, running jumper off the front rim and in. And the New York Knicks have become the second number eight team in NBA history to knock off a number one. Following their amazing victory, New York would ride a wave of emotion into their second round matchup against the Atlanta Hawks. Once again, the Knicks were the underdogs, but again, they would seize home court advantage with a game one victory, and they never looked back. This time, New York would need no last second heroics as they steamrolled the Hawks in a stunningly easy four game sweep. And the Knicks just pouring it on. And the New York Knicks advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. The confidence that we had at that point uh, we were obviously on a high, and I think it just really carried over into the Indiana series. But as they faced the playoff-tested Indiana Pacers, the Knicks knew it could be their toughest battle of all. We were underdogs once again, and um, we did a good job of coming out and focusing on the first game. Johnson, good position. 
Blocking Dale Davis off the boards. Here's Allen Houston. Back to Johnson. He laid it in. Pretty pass. That's the attitude that we we pretty much took as a team is to, hey, let's hit, let's hit first, let's hit hard, and let's hit often. As they had done in the first two series, the Knicks would take command from the start of game one. They grabbed a late lead, but the Pacers would have one last shot to tie it. Looking for Jackson. Jackson has it. Forces up a three over Childs. Short, the underdog New York Knicks pull off the shocker in game one. In game two, the Pacers were determined to reestablish their supremacy, and they would build a 17-point lead in the first half. But despite their onslaught, Indiana was unable to deal a knockout blow to the resilient Knicks, who would have a chance to send the game into overtime. Two seconds to go the length of the floor. Oh, Ewing has it for the open shot! Not tonight, Patrick! But New York had not only lost the game, they had also lost their superstar. There's only so much you can go for, so much you can endure. Um, you know, I felt something pull, and you know, I was so proud of hurt, shot, you know, all the emotions. Patrick has been the focal point and the rock of uh, this team over the years. It's just like you're going into, uh, into a war, you lose one of your soldiers, but the other soldiers have to pick up. As the Pacers looked to capitalize on Ewing's absence, the Knicks tried to fight back. Hey, you know what? We can remind you about 56. You guys dig in and get a stop, a four, five out, and a score. As had been their trademark, New York refused to give up. But as game three entered its critical stretch, they found themselves needing yet another miracle. With control of the series hanging in the balance, the Knicks trailed by three points in the final seconds, and they would turn to Larry Johnson. Inside of 10 seconds to go. Antonio is there. Johnson fires. Foul to hit it. Oh. He hit it. He hit it. He and was fouled foul and he hit it. Larry Johnson throws up and he was fouled on the shot. He tied it in 91. It's unbelievable. And the Knicks have repeated the patience. Johnson's miraculous play would propel to victory and catapult them to even greater heights. In game five, they would once again stun the Pacers on their home court to take a three games to two lead, and they carried their momentum back to Madison Square Garden for game six. As they convincingly finished off the Pacers, New York had staged yet another memorable upset, and their improbable playoff saga would continue. And NBA history has just been made. The New York Knicks are the first eight seed to ever make the NBA Finals. And though they would lose in the finals, the Knicks had won a lasting place in history. In the end, the Spurs were just...